What's up, Bertini fam? Now, in today's video, I'm over here in Central Florida at Classic Designs. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about them here in a second, but before I do that, make sure if you have not yet clicked that subscribe button, click that subscribe button right now. This way you can stay up to date on all of my future content. With that being said, go ahead and roll the intro. Most of you already know this, but I want to black out the entire interior. I feel like black gives the vehicle a much more sporty look. Obviously, these trucks come, especially the XL models, they come from the factory meant for utility purposes. Now, you already know that's not how my truck works, and therefore, we do have to switch out everything if we really want this to be the ultimate race truck. So that's what we're doing. So I decided to go with this custom interior package from Catskin. Catskin is like the leader when it comes to aftermarket interiors. Woo! Heck, in fact, most dealerships will give you the option if you want to replace your interior and go with custom cat skin interior, they actually give you the option. That's what kind of quality cat skin produces. Yeah, baby, yeah! Now, the cool thing about this was Catskin allows you to customize your interior to your liking. So what I ended up going with was leather here on the bolstering. I went with the uh, red stitching and then I went with their uh, suede skin is what I believe it's called. But it basically reminds me of an Alcantara look to it. It's really, really nice, really sporty. And so this is the setup that I custom chose to my preferences. So obviously this is something that you guys can do too if you're interested in custom doing your interior or if you're like me and you wanna build a race truck or a sporty truck, you can start off with your base Excel model. And then of course you can go ahead and add these different features. And like I said, most dealerships will allow you to do this from the factory. Meaning just let them know you want cat skin interior and of course they can hook you up and do this for you at the dealership. Man, it's crazy how quick these dudes <laughs> do this. You can definitely see he's done this quite a few times already. Hey. Looks like we got some minor foam repair. So they were actually just telling me that the foam bolsters are ripped, which is super common on these, but they are gonna repair them. So this is exactly why you wanna have a professional doing your installs and not just take it to anybody. So something you have to appreciate about a quality installer and something I want to call out because I thought it was just like one of those little details because details do matter and stuff like this, right? They're going to use this steamer on these like back half of the seat. Basically what it does is over time because of the cloth, the cloth or the interior, the, the covering, whatever it is, right? Is pushing down on this like this. So it ends up bending backwards like you could see here, right? And so basically what they do is they steam this and by steaming it, it brings this thing back to life, back to that OEM original state that it was in post having all these years of being pulled back by the fabric. So I just want to note that just because it's one of those things like when you go to a shop, it's important that you don't just look for pricing on everything because sometimes it's more important to pay for somebody to do something that's quality this way you don't have to worry about you know having to go back and redo it over and over again and that's why it's so important that you do things right the first time and you find a quality installer the first time so one side done side not done Side done, side not done. Look at the difference. It's like at an angle right now. That's how much of a big difference. Man, that is crazy. What a big difference that made. Look at that. The devil is in the details. Look at this. I'm gonna have more side cushion now. It'll keep me in my seat better. I mean, not that we turn the truck at all. Oh my gosh, it's coming alive. Oh man, I'm stoked. You're basically like a seat caresser too. Yeah. I mean, not in a weird kind of way, but uh, I noticed like you like massage the seating. Yeah. Do you have any other questions for me, counselor? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Yeah, in there. Kind of an art, yeah. Well, ladies, you know where to find them. <laughs>
good. It's ridiculous how good like it came out. And is the steamer meant to get out like wrinkles and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's? So like, if you want to get right here, see how these like slight wrinkles. Oh. But you probably wouldn't catch those. But, you know. Yeah. All right, so just to give a quick update, one seat is now officially done. Obviously the headrests were probably safe for last. The only thing I'm excited to change out on these moving forward is gonna be these top clips, which by the way, yes, I have coming in black, like I said. And then also the seat buckle. I have the seat buckles along with the new um, seat belts will be coming as well. Wait till you guys see what I do with those. That's gonna really make all this pop. But yeah, just to give you a quick update, this is where we're at now. We're gonna move on to the passenger side, and yeah. All right, so we're midway here while Zach is working on the seats. He's finishing them up right now. I'm actually meeting up with Chris. Chris is the sales manager over here at Classic Design Automotive. Chris, say what's up. Hey. <laughs> um, you guys don't only do interiors, right? Like No, no. So we do headliners, we do sunroofs uh, from scratch. So we'll, we'll put a sunroof in if your vehicle didn't have a sunroof. Uh, we do sunroof repairs, uh, do convertible tops, uh, and some electronics. Now I notice you guys have a bunch of cat skin stuff here. <laughs> we have a lot. I have to assume you guys have to be like one of the top dealers for cat skin stuff because this is, I mean, this is crazy how much cat skin you have here. Yeah, we, we do all right. We do um, we do a good number. We, we're primarily dealership based, so we do a lot of the dealership's works. If the vehicle doesn't come in with uh, leather, it comes in with cloth, and the customer wants the leather, we upgrade their seats to leather. One other thing, because I remember speaking with uh, John about it, who um, John was primarily the person who I was originally talking to um, when looking for an, an installer, but John was telling me, because I told him about the headliner in the truck that it's gray, and I want it to be black. Obviously, we're doing all the black panels, um, and I, now, based on the few seats that I've seen already, I'm like sold. I'm like, man, I got to come back here and get the headliner done. Um, that's something that you guys do too. You don't actually dye the headliner like some people no, say no. to do. So like, we'll, we'll strip the headliner down to the, the hardboard, original factory uh, hardboard. Yep. And we'll relay new material on there, whatever color you want. We try to match the factory grain. Uh, if we're just replacing a headliner to the same color, we match the factory material so everything looks like it was that's originally it. manufactured in there. So that's headliner material, that's oh. vinyl, that's hides of uh, leather, different foam. Uh, we do some foam repair work too. So if your seat comes in, needs a little bit of repair work on it, yep. uh, we can repair the foam so that it puffs back out and the covers fit on there nice and tight. Actually, so I know on the first seat that, that uh, Zach just finished now, um, he actually had to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he, right. he brought the seat back to life, which by the way, like for me, the details, they matter a lot, right? Quality is something that like, it, it's a big deal with, with a purchaser, like a consumer like right. me, right? And then the other thing was the bolsters were torn, yeah. you know? And he's like, oh, this is common. We repair this. And he was showing me, you know, how he did it. So um, yeah, that's pretty awesome that you guys do that. They're nice. I really like this. So obviously we know you install cat skin here. Right. Why cat skin? Because that's literally the only one that you guys use right now, right? Yeah, that's the only leather that we install. Uh, and it comes down to the quality. The quality, the fit and the finish. Um, they, their partnerships with the different OEM uh, manufacturers. It's, it's the highest level leather that you can get on the market. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white bag. Yeah, just seeing, by the way, my one seat already, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this thing to be done. Well, wait till you, wait till you see it completed and yeah. finished. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's really nice. Well, um, Chris, if somebody is interested in getting a hold of you guys and is interested in booking servicing to come either get cat skin installed or just to come and get an installation maybe of a sunroof or a headliner redone or anything interior wise, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, so you can go to our website. Our website is classicdes.com, or you can give us a call at 407-781-0462. Perfect. Awesome. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for allowing me to film around here. I know it's always like, a, I don't know if you want, but no you guys, you guys no are worries. open. The quality is there. So I appreciate you guys. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Man. All right. So just to give you a quick update here, we are now on to seat number two, removing the factory cloth off. As you can see, we've injected it with steroids again. It's crazy how it really does come back to life. I'm sure some of you scientists will tell me what is the logic behind how that works. I'm assuming it's the steam, the moisture, the water, 
it expands in the foam. I'm assuming that's what it takes to make the foam go back to life. That actually seemed like the hardest one that you did. Yeah. <laughs> to, to get on. Yeah. The others are it's like... Tight. That's what he said, right, guys? Because of... It's so mind-blowing to me, like, redoing your interior, like, what it can do. How it can completely, yeah. like, transform the vehicle. The cloth, just, it's a little less, like, you don't realize it, but it, it takes away from the luxury. Yeah. I wonder how many calories a day you burn judo chopping, well, you I know. I work out and I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very nice and potatoes, yeah. So if I can game and just come here and get my workout. Straight. Yeah. Oh, you're speaking my language. <laughs> so, in most cases with cat skin, I'm assuming they just send you the kits like already done. Like you're not having to re-sew anything. Like you don't ever have to custom make anything from cat skin. They, they make it all for us. They get the pattern pattern straight from the manufacturer. Okay. And uh, so sometimes like even like Ford, uh, Mopar, Dodge and stuff like that, they're actually backed by factory. So like you can sell your Dodge Ram uh -huh. and say that it has factory leather with a cat skin interior. Really? Because it's their Mopar, they, they work with Mopar or some, they're like sister families and they cat skin such a good quality that they yeah. approve them as a... No, I mean, it looks amazing quality. Yeah. Like you can see very, like the first seat, I was like, oh my God, yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, to me, it looks even better than factory quality, but obviously that's, you know. Right, I've installed <laughs> other, other kits too, and it's not, I'm not biased or anything. This yeah. is the best fit and finish. They take the most time. They don't cut any corners with any clips or anything like that. Like, yeah. Some some leather, and leather companies won't put this clip there. They'll just put something so you can staple, uh, you know. They put as much OEM as they can back into it. Yeah, you, I mean, I like. you, could, you could see it. I mean, it's... Like I said, I mean, I wouldn't think it didn't come from the factory, right. you know? So I'm assuming in this whole process, the headrests are the most difficult. No, actually no. <laughs> yeah, they're probably the easiest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was my sarcasm. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, I need to work on my sarcasm my here. Guy gets paid. He gets paid ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. The headrest guy, yeah. that guy drives in on a Ferrari every day. Total baller. So according to Zach, this is actually the most difficult part of the entire process is getting the head the, the headrest done. By far the most difficult. And he's a professional, so don't take my word for it. You know, I'm just going by what he says. It seems like this is probably the only part that I could have did at home. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, Becky, look at these seats. Damn, son. Yo, these things came out looking amazing. Oh my gosh, it's crazy what like new interior does to the vehicle. It looks like a race truck right now. Like, well, one, I've never seen this kind of setup in a single cab or a regular cab, whatever you want to call it. Um, I haven't seen a setup like this, but it's just mind blowing to see like the quality now of what the interior looks like. I mean, one, the fitment is just, I mean, it's beyond factory. I mean, it just looks like it came off of a showroom floor. And then two, the quality of the material. I mean, it's just, it's so nice. Look at this, look at this. This is so nice. I'm still in that like shock moment where it's like, is this real? Is this really still my truck? Like. This turned out so damn nice. It's, uh, I mean, they really killed it. Well, one, obviously, Catskin killed it with an amazing product. But two, the install, these guys did a fantastic job on this installation. Obviously, you guys only get a portion of what I film in these videos, but the installation, the detail that they went to, to go through to putting all of this together, like the little things that they did. I know I showed you guys with the steam as an example, um, fixing the bolsters. I mean, they really just go above and beyond to installing these products on these vehicles. I could 
could see why Classic Designs is one of the top distributors for cat skin products. I mean, this is just amazing. The quality, the fitment, the finish, the insulation, just 10 out of 10, amazing job. Zach, dude, you did a killer job on the installation. <laughs> I'm like super happy with it. In your opinion, like being in a single cab, what are your views now of the interior? What kind of vibe are you getting? Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> if you're going for the blackout look, you're getting there. Doesn't it feel like race car vibey yeah. with, with the, the suede, the suede yes, right? Very race car. I'm very happy with it. Man, you did a killer job. Thank oh, you, yeah. sir. By the way, I want to tell you guys this. You guys have the best Google rating that I've ever seen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> from thank it, you. Especially in this industry. Yeah. It goes to show you, like, it's one of those quality over quantity things. And, like, this is one of those areas you should definitely not skip out on because you could skip out on things and then you end up with a really crappy end, like, end job. I'm clearly you guys are doing something right here because your Google ratings show that. I appreciate it. Thanks again, Zach. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you so much. I just had to take the truck out for you guys really quick because the lighting inside the warehouse does not do these seats justice. Let me tell you something. So far from sitting in it, the suede skin, um, AKA in my, in my view, Alcantara looking, I mean, this thing is really, really nice. It also too, I like the fact that it grips you into the seat now before, even with the cloth, there was still a little bit of sliding around. Um, um, now I feel a lot more planted into the seat and then two, the leather bolstering I feel really brings out the classiness of the ride. I mean, of course, sporty is nice, which is obviously why I went with that red stitching. And of course, you know, the Alcantara in the, in, or the suede skin, I should say, in the center. But man, does the leather really bring out that classy vibe to it, that sporty vibe, that really high end vibe. Anyways, don't forget to stay tuned in. I'm gonna be doing the headliner. I'm replacing all of the parts in here with black parts, including the belts the seat belts over here um, including the the seat belts themselves I have something really cool planned for these seat belts as well as redoing the flooring into carpet doing mats and really making the inside of here obviously doing the radio the gauge so there's a lot planned for the inside of the interior so don't forget to click that subscribe button super important above all else things make sure you're putting good energy out there into the world and you're paying it forward I'll check y'all out later bye now